Hey guys, I'm Muhammad Hassan and this is the Electronics Engineer channel and uh, I'll be showing you in this video how to use the shift registers uh, the microcontroller and how they are beneficial in expanding the outputs of a microcontroller as you see here we are having uh, 24 LEDs each 8 LEDs are uh, connected to the shift register one of these three shift registers and here is the microcontroller it is uh, 16 f688 uh, and with the just uh, four uh, outputs we are controlling 24 leds and we can more and more to control leds so uh, if uh, to have uh, sure that if we switch off the microcontroller it stopped at this point okay if we put it back it will continue so this is the microcontroller and here it uh, controls this uh, LEDs and the way we program it to control it so we will uh, see how this shift register works it is 74HC595 and we will explain it in details okay stay on okay guys now we will uh, talk about the shift register 74HC595 uh, here is the general description you can refer to it but I will explain it uh, uh, in a more practical way using the functional diagram okay if we wanted to enter a high bit or a low bit we will use this bit for this purpose it is uh, for this pin that is pin 14 it is ds to enter a high bit or low bit so we should control this high or low in order to enter a high or low bit when we need to enter this uh, bit, whether it is high or low, there uh, should be two conditions. There should be a rise up uh, for the clock, a low to high transition for the SHCP, uh, and the master clear should be uh, high. Okay. So when entering uh, with first clock uh, transition, here will be let's say bit 7 or it is the first bit to enter here the first bit to enter here and the second transition will be here and the new one will be here so let's say it is bit 7 here and bit 6 here so with 8 uh, transitions uh, for the clock uh, from low to high here will be bit 0 and here will be bit 7 8 bits in order to transfer the data that is in the 8 stage shift register to the 8 bit storage res register we should uh, make a high to low a low to high transition in this uh, pin that is pin 12 is stcp let's say uh, call it the latch uh, this this data is uh, uh, connected to the outputs uh, automatically in case the out enable is low so if you don't want to display the, the data that is here even if you make this latch from low to high the data will not display uh, in the output in the real world okay in case you want and uh, that's what uh, our purpose is the out enable should be low you can uh, uh, make uh, connected to ground okay we will have a uh, uh, code that will explain this uh, in a more beneficial way so you can uh, know how it works uh, okay if you want to have the code this is the code it is for uh, using two by uh, two bytes okay just uh, think that I uh, missed to say if you want to cascade to uh, sh another shift register and uh, more than uh, one shift register 
pin 9 that is let's say the data out will be connected to pin 14 and for sure all the shift registers should have the same uh, uh, clock cycle and uh, the same uh, uh, the same latch if you want to have uh, the latch for all the shift registers in one time it's up to you but the clock for sure should be one for all shift registers and the uh, 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 pin 14 should uh, let's say this is coming from microcontroller pin 9 go to the uh, consecutively or to the successive uh, uh, shift register and so forth 9 to 14 uh, and uh, 9 to 14 and so on so we will see a code this uh, if you like uh, to have a look about it this is the code okay we used uh, the pick uh, 16 688 16 f688 it is a small uh, microcontroller uh, we just used these four pins okay the highlighted pins uh, we defined that uh, pin c0 it is the mr the master reset in case we make the, the master reset uh, low it will reset the shift register and all the data will be zero okay uh, the clock it is H, uh, SHCP pin C1 pin C2 it is the latch pin C3 is the data okay so we made the timer interrupt almost every one second or a little bit more uh, the, the output high uh, we made uh, the clear uh, output always high we don't need it uh, to be uh, low again no need and we use two bytes okay so it is drive one and drive zero and we will switch these bytes so one will be zero and zero will be one every one second using this uh, mechanism okay here is uh, the code if you like uh, to know we always copy the drive uh, bytes to drive storage for uh, a simple reason because uh, this uh, drive storage will become zero in the end of uh, this for loop so we begin with the, the first uh, the MSB of the byte one, it is the MSB of the MS byte, okay? So we start, we check if it is high, uh, we make the high data, the data high. If it is zero, it will be low. In the same uh, loop, in the same uh, first, in the same stage, the clock will should be rise to up and then uh, to low in order for the second transition to become uh, rise and uh, the, the, the drive storage uh, that is uh, copied to it uh, it will be shifted left so the second bit it is uh, the bit uh, behind the MSB and so forth will uh, then take the test here and lastly at the end of this for loop 16 bits that are being uh, transferred we will make the output high latch uh, and then output low in order to display the outputs in the real world here is the Proteus this, uh, here is the microcontroller connected to the shift registers uh, it is just a remark that uh, pin 14 is uh, connected to C3 and then 9 pin 9 that is data output is connected to the data input of the second shift registers which will make us able to uh, have uh, 
cascading of uh, shift registers so and always out uh, enable I made it to ground I want to display the uh, the outputs whenever the latch is high so we will see how they are switching the bytes okay and now we will be switching okay okay guys and now we'll be showing you a project that may inspire you how to use the shift registers uh, in uh, certain projects uh, not uh, just uh, let's say uh, for a fun in which we will display uh, on or off the LEDs uh, continuously so here we have uh, 24 LEDs each 8 LEDs are connected uh, to a shift register uh, the LSB is here and the MSB is here it's number 24 so through the keypad we can control these uh, LEDs on or off if we want them all on at once 25D all outputs are on if we want them uh, off at once 0B all are off if we want some of them on let's say one and six and fifteen and twenty four D so these are on one six fifteen twenty four this is one six fifteen twenty four if we wanna even to add more uh, uh, out outputs to be on let's say twenty two seven and let's say uh, nineteen d so these are uh, the on okay if you feel that this video have uh, added to your information uh, something uh, educational uh, or uh, you found it uh, beneficial please uh, hit the like button uh, leave your comments if you have any suggestions and we'll be happy to answer it if this video get uh, 100 likes we will uh, in the next video explain an input output expander it is not just uh, output expander like these shift registers uh, the 74hc595 they will be uh, our input output expander that works uh, through i2c bus okay uh, your like uh, subscription will encourage us to make uh, more videos okay goodbye